St. John chapter 17, verse 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Times of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And um, this one's going to be a quick hit. The uh, title of this video is Thou Word is Truth. Thou Word is Truth. All right. Now, as you can see, I'm in the book of John, chapter 17. And it's written in red. So we know that Yahweh Shai is speaking. And this is uh, very heavy. All right. Because the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is speaking on behalf of his elect. So I'm going to read from verse 12 and get back down to 17. This is John 17 and 12. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scriptures might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world that they might have joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world have hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them, through thou truth, thou word is truth. Okay, let's go into this word. Sanctify. Strong's G37, Hagiadzo. Hagiadzo. Which sanctify means to render or acknowledge or to be vulnerable or hollowed, to separate from profane things and dedicate to the Most High. Consecrate things to the Most High, dedicate people to the Most High, to purify, all right, to cleanse externally, uh, to cleanse externally. This word sanctify, let's see, purify or consecrate, same thing, hollow, to be hollow, sanctify, all right, this word sanctify means to purify and to be separated, okay? separated from profane so Yahweh Shai said sanctify them and who was the them the elect all right those that was given to Yahweh Shai by the heavenly father it says sanctify them through thou through thou truth all right thou word is truth so what is the truth this word all right this word that's from the heavenly father given to Yahweh Shai to give to us okay and we have it through Yahweh Shai sending the comforter, which is the Rakakwadash, okay, spirit, holy, holy spirit. So we have the truth. This is the truth, okay? So we have to walk in the truth. We have to be sincere in the truth because this is the truth. And there is no lie of the truth. The truth is the truth, and a lie is a lie, all right? They both play their side. You know, there's a balance. You have truth, you have a lie. You have good, you have evil. You have up, you have down, you have right, you have left. There's always a balance. The Lord said he's a just weight, okay? He's a fine balance. That's why wickedness exists, to keep balance, all right? And the most high created wickedness. And he has full power and control over it, all right? He the one that set up these elite banking families to run the world, you know, to be that house of Esau today. All right, when, G when Jacob and Esau were born. Okay, so let's move on, right? Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So this word is the truth, man. And how we know it's the truth? Through faith and prophecy. Okay? The way the Lord manifests, you know, and, and, and bring things to light. It shows forth it's the truth. All right, this, this book carries great wisdom. All right, everyday wisdom that we can use in our everyday life. All right, the Lord gives us that inspiration. He inspire, inspire us, you know, to be enlightened, to be woken, you know, 
This is why Esau, he uh, adopted himself, you know, into our um, customs and lied and said that he's the Lord's chosen people because he wants to be the truth. But instead, he was made to be the, a lie. All right. A devil. All right. That old serpent, Satan. OK. This is Psalms chapter 145. In verse 18, it says, Yahweh is nigh unto all them that call upon him. To all that call upon him in truth. All right. So Yahweh is near upon all those that call upon him. So how do you call upon the Lord? You have to know his name. All right. The name of the father is Yahweh. The name of the son is Yahweh Shai. It says, Yahweh is nigh unto all them that call upon him. To all that call upon him in truth. So it's about the truth. Being sincere. So the Lord is near unto those who call upon him. Which is call upon his name. His true name. Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai. It says to all that call upon him in truth. Alright. Being that they're honest and sincere. Okay. So the Lord is about truth. He is truth. Okay. Let's move on. Let's go into the book. Of uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So this Bible, all right, is the truth. Rightly dividing the word of truth. So, you know, in order to to um to to have this truth, you have to study to show thyself approved. All right. And how do we study? We have to be taught. All right. You have to be taught by men. OK, we fall into other men's labors. So we have to be taught by men. It's not just taught by any man, but one of the Lord's anointed elect. All right. Prophets to teach this word. And to get the uh, true understanding of this word. All right. Like Show thyself approved unto the most high. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Why needeth not to be ashamed? Because you have false doctrines out here. Okay. And uh, seducing spirits. And, and needeth not to be ashamed. Because the, the knowing is the knowledge. Alright. The knowledge is the knowing. And rightly dividing the word of truth. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Here a little. There a little. Alright. The word of truth. So if we say that we're in the truth, we have to be walking in the truth, be honest in the truth. Okay. So now let me go into the book of Ephesians chapter six and uh, verse 14. It says, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. So we want to have our, our, our loins girt about with truth. All right. Have our dignity and, and standards in the truth, which is these scriptures. OK. Which is a uh, manner in ourselves in the right way. Uh, what Paul said, um, what manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness and having on the breast, the breastplate of righteousness. All right. Which is the faith. This is uh, the book of Proverbs book of proverbs 12 and 22 it says lion lips are an abomination unto yahweh but they that deal truly are his delight so it's all about dealing truly and dealing with truth you know if you have a malice a malice spirit and you know you think you're clever and you you're gonna you're gonna lie and, and get around well the truth is gonna root you out Okay, the Lord is gonna up 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 screw you and toss you out. Okay, lying lips are an abomination unto uh, to Yahweh, but they that deal truly are His delight. So who the Lord delight in? Do He delight Do He delight in the wickedness or do He delight in the truth? He delight in the truly. All right. So let's move on. This is uh, the book of John. 4 and 24 it says Yahweh is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth 
you know, I'm jumping right to the point. I'll start from 23. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. See? Yahweh is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So you can't worship the Lord and be carnal and think you in the truth. You know, you can't be showing actions of you being a, a wicked man and claim you in the truth. Scriptures say, Yahweh is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. This is uh, the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 18. It says, My little children, let us love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. You know, a scripture come in mind. Be not ye a doer of, be not ye a hearer of the word, but also be a doer of the word. All right? Because that's your deed. You got to put forth action. You have to manifest. You have to prove your faith. All right? You have to have some sort of works to, to uh, validate your faith. We're coming into a path of narrowness where it's straight, okay? Where it's great difficulty, where you're gonna have to make a choice, all right? It's either you're gonna go with E in this God forsaken wicked society and, and worship in his B system, or you're gonna follow Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and go down that narrow path, which is leads to righteousness, you know? So confession of who you believe in is going to take place okay so my little children let us not love in word neither in tongue but in deed and in truth all right so i get my last scripture here and this is a quick hit i'm just reading through some uh precepts lord willing i pray this lesson is edifying this is uh, Psalms 119 and 160. Psalms 119 and verse 160. Thou word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endure forever. All right. So the word of the the word of truth, the word is true from the beginning. Okay. So the word, you know, which who is the word? Yahweh Shai. All right. Which is making me think of. Uh, let me see. St. John, chapter one, verse one. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Now, to get understanding is actually saying St. John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with the powers, and the word was a power. The same was in the beginning with the powers. All right, and the word is Yahweh Shai. Okay. The uh God there represents powers. And when it says, and was, and the word was a power, the same was in the beginning with the powers. Okay, so there was Yahweh Shah among the other judges, the other angels. Okay. So now to get understanding, you jump down to 14. It says, And the word was made flesh and and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, and the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So Yahweh Shai is the word. Alright, so when we read on verse 3. It says, all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended if not. All right, so basically, Yahweh Shai is the word. And when you come across the word God here in John 1 and 1, it's representing the Alahayims, which is the powers. Which are the other angels, the judges that was with Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai created everything that exists through the power of Yahweh, which is the Father. Let me get back to the book, Psalms 119 again. 
Psalms 119 and 160. It says, uh, Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endure forever. All right. And a righteous judgment is coming upon the wicked. All right. Righteous judgment, which the Lord is going to destroy the wicked and uplift the righteous and give a righteous man a righteous reward and a wicked man a wicked reward. His judgments endure forever. All right. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahawashai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom. Till next time.